Hey guys, alright, so a few weeks, months back. I never know what today is anymore. Hey guys, Elton here. Um, just want to send my regards to y'all during this MCO period. Hope you guys are doing well at home and yeah, stay home, stay safe. So this is going to be a short review video on something that I bought on Indiegogo uh, before this MRO started. So yeah, let's get to the review. Alright, so a few months back, I was actually looking for earphones. I was finding something for like an AirPod, but I didn't want to pay so much for it. Uh, I wanted something small, had wireless charging, and most importantly, had good sound. And I didn't want to pay like six to eight hundred bucks for it. So yeah, I was on Instagram, and this pop-up ad came up, Atagara, and I swiped into it. It led me to a Indiegogo fundraising page. So usually, I, I never bought anything from Indiegogo. So. This is the first time actually I read through the specs and I saw the price was 280 ringgit Malaysia so it's quite a steal for something that quality so I just bought it and yeah I've been using this for 4 months now and I'm gonna do a review on it so we're gonna start with the specs I'm not so much of a specs guy but here are the specs for those of you who want to see it Alright so in the specs it says premium graphene drivers what does that mean? Um, according to the website graphene it's the thinnest, lightest, and strongest material on earth, constructed from a single layer of carbon atoms in a honeycomb lattice. I have no idea what that means. Okay, um, the short answer is it makes your music sound really good. And yes, the music does sound really good. However, it's lacking in the bass, which I don't really prefer. Uh, I'm a heavy EDM and rap music listener, so bass is really, really important for me. But considering the price um, and the things that you get in it, yes, it sounds really good, but if you're a really heavy bass person, I don't recommend you getting it. Yeah. Alright, so the price of this thing is good. The sound is pretty decent, except for the bass. Now for the fit and size of this thing. So the size is definitely small. This is my hand. It's definitely small. I can bring it anywhere. It's so convenient. And the fit is actually really, really good. I haven't had to like adjust it during my spots. It doesn't come out. Because of this thing, actually, if you can see, there's this wing tip at the end, a small thing but it keeps it in your ear and it doesn't come out even when you shake your head or anything so yeah that's something really really nice and I appreciate it attention to detail y'all speaking about attention to detail this thing actually if you can see that it has like paint splatter kind of detailing on it and the leather thing is, is done really really well there's a magnetic thing down here if you can see yeah it actually open up it shows the type c charger here and then it just closes it up and you can just cook it anywhere so i yeah it does the little little things um great all right so for the charge there's one small thing you should take note is that um, when you charge it wirelessly it tends to heat up it gets hot like hot hot so that's just something you should take note of when you're charging this wirelessly yeah so i guess that's the whole review uh, do I recommend it for everyday people? Yes, uh, but it's cheap, relatively cheap. It's 280 bucks, and you get all the above. Uh, it's small, has well as charging, has great sound actually. If you don't mind the bass, and if you ask me to rate it out of five, I would say I give it a three. Uh, value for money is there. Great design, convenience, good sound, except for the bass. Hence the three rating. So yeah, here's the review for full review for Atagora Liberty wireless earphones yeah so i guess um do what everyone does like follow subscribe the usual and see you in the next video